Hi, Christ community. I am delighted to introduce you to Kelly Cruz, a local artist here in Kansas City. Um, and she's been doing some work for us recently. You've been seeing that here at church, and I'm delighted for you to meet her. Tell us a little bit about you and your work uh, in the arts. Sure, I'd be delighted. So um, I actually have a background in music, so I'm a musician and a visual artist. Um, I, my education's in, in voice, so singing opera is um, kind of where I got my start. Uh, and then I made kind of a foray into photography and visual art. Uh, I have a history of painting when I was much younger. And um, I moved to Kansas City after I finished my degree at Indiana in voice and um, was kind of at a place personally at that point where I felt like I was at a crossroads. I was um, doing photography nearly full time. I wasn't uh, teaching or doing music a lot. And I just felt like, um, you know, for the first time in my life, I was asking God, where do you want me? What do you want me to do? Also at that time in my life, I was studying the Psalms. Um, partly just to cope with depression and that struggle. One day I was studying a psalm and I felt that to fully express, you know, what I was feeling, um, the passion that I felt for God's word and the awe that I felt standing under it, I painted sort of a visual representation of that psalm and ended up um, expounding upon it and talking about it and praying about it. And it all kind of became a spiritual practice. Um, and I thought it was just going to be for me just personal, but um, very quickly I, I learned that sharing the power of that was um, life-giving not only to myself, but to people around me, and it glorified God. And um, so there's a little background, I guess, of how I ended up here where I am painting scripture. So you know, it's interesting with the Psalms because that's, I think, how we made the connection with you. Mm -hmm. is, and your work has been introduced to us as a church through this Advent series. So maybe talk a little bit about the process of how, how you go into a psalm and create. Yeah, so I just sit down with God's word first. Um, I, I had the psalms pre-chosen for me by you all, of course, which was great. So I sat down with each of these five psalms. Um, I studied them by reading through them, asking questions um, about the psalm author, and then um, asking the same question I ask with all scripture, how does this point to Jesus? Like, where is Jesus in this? Um, and that's especially important with these Advent Psalms. That's important always, I mean, obviously. But um, so then I, certain themes start to stand out to me. I, I often see certain colors. Um, I can't fully explain why that is. And then I start to see gestures and I sit down in front of um, a blank piece of paper in this case and I paint. So it's spontaneous and playful, particularly these paintings that I created for Christ community were very playful for me. Um, sometimes I try to create specific imagery for myself, um, particularly in a piece um, that I did for you for, on Psalm 8. There is some very specific imagery in that psalm I wanted to create. It's a beautiful process that looks different every time, and um, it, was a t it was an absolute pleasure to do for these psalms. I know you're in the process of working on a body of work around John Donne's Holy Sonnets. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so John Donne um, was this wonderful Renaissance poet. We mainly know him as a poet. Um, he was also an author and a pastor. Um, and the Holy Sonnets are a group of 19 poems in this very strict sonnet form, 14 lines, 10 syllables each with a specific rhyme, rhyme scheme. And each one is a theological argument. Um, that Dunn enters into. He argues with himself or with God. Um, and he wrote these psalms over about an eight-year period when he was converting from Catholicism to Anglicanism, which was a very, very big deal for him at that time. Um, and there's, I'll talk a lot more about that um, specifically at the show, and um, I talk about it online with this body of work. But um, I've taken each sonnet and studied it, and then... Uh, gone through and memorized it. And I, I talk to myself in the studio um, and in the car all the time, just getting this poetry in my body. And then when I really feel like I know what Dunn's argument is, I sit down and try to express that visually. And this is where how I feel about it comes in. Um, I relate strongly to a lot of what Dunn is going through in his struggle with sin and um, and some of, the, some of the sonnets are just pure reverence and very prayerful, and he sits down and contemplates the gospel. And so I myself do that in the act of painting them. Um, and I 
kind of wrestle with them in a way and try to create a visual space for people to also wrestle with Dunn's uh, work. And I hope it kind of ignites some people, um, some people's passion to like go study works of art by different artists out there um, and that God speaks through people of all um, types in all centuries in all art forms. So it's it's been a joy to work on it. I'm excited to cross the finish line and share that body of work with everyone at the Four Chapter Gallery. So yeah, well, we look forward to seeing it. And thank you so much for bringing the Psalms to life and bringing adding beauty to, uh, to Christ's community this Advent season. Thank you.